Hello, this is the class of introduction to data science, and I'm going to continue the class. Uh, we are discussing about the categorical data, how to handle the categorical data. And yeah, in this section, we are continuing about binary encoding. So we already learned at least three techniques. The first is the replacing the values. And the second is label encoding, and the other is one hunt encoding. And now we are entering the new chapter about binary encoding. So this technique is not as intuitive as the previous ones. Okay. So in this technique, the first the categories are encoded as ordinal. Okay. I guess you still remember what is ordinal. Okay. Uh, when it is ordinal, it means we have the order. So uh, for example, small, medium, and large. Uh, we know that small is the lowest one and large is the highest one. It depends on the way you define. Okay? And then those integers are converted to binary code. Okay? So if you have the ordinal, then we change it to binary code. And then the digits from that binary string are split into separate columns. So this encodes the data in fewer dimension than one hot. Okay. So when we have the integers, and we can code it into uh, first we convert to ordinal, and then we convert to binary code. And yeah, we it is similar to one hot, but with the smaller dimension. Okay. So let's see the example. Oh, yeah. before this one, uh, you can do binary encoding via, num via a number of ways, but the simplest one is using the category encoders. Uh, we have the category encoders, and yeah, you can use that one. You need to install first the category encoders, or you can download from the site. But uh, I will teach you how to install this one. and. First, you need to import the category encoders after you install it. And then you need to invoke the binary encoder function by specifying the column that you want to encode and call the dot fit transform. So it will fit with the data frame as argument. Okay, let's see. Now we need to install this uh, category encoders. Okay, so in this category encoders, there are many other functions actually. Okay, and after you already have this category encoders, uh, you can do with this category encoders. So first, I would like to copy the data so from the category called the F lights, and I put it into the CE. So CE means the category encoder. I will import the category encoders. And okay, now I would like to use an encoder. So this encoder is a variable that I use from the category encoder CE, and I call the method binary encoder. So I call the binary encoder for the carrier. Okay. So in this carrier, uh, we convert the carrier. And with this binary encoder, first we do the fit transform. So we fit the transform <coughs> from the encoder here, fit the transform into the data that we have on the category called the F flight C. So this is the data that we have. And after we have this uh, transform, then yeah, you can get the result. <coughs> Like this one. So here um, you can see that the data, the carrier zero, carrier one, carrier two, carrier three, carrier four. Okay. So we have only four. Yeah, because we want to make it as an ordinal data. Okay. So as I mentioned before. Okay, maybe this one. Eh? Notice that four new columns are created in place of the carrier column with binary encoding for its category. 
So um, note that the category encoder is very useful library for encoding categorical columns. Not only does it support one hot binary and label encoding, but it also includes advanced encoding methods like Helmet contrast, polynomial contrast, and backward difference. Okay. Um, I will not discuss the other okay, uh, because uh, this one is one of the uh, possible way for doing the categorical encoders uh, with the binary. So if you want to do more with uh, the other kind of encoders, of course, you need to uh, understand the mathematicals like in the Helmer contrast and polynomial contrast and etc. Okay. So I will just explain the other kind of features. Okay, so this kind of features are related with the uh, categorical by setting the ranges of values of observation. Okay, so sometimes you may encounter categorical features column which specify the range of values for observation points. For example. Uh, it's okay the it's column you know it's is a numerical but i want to put it into the categories like 0 until 20 20 until 40 and so on so you already learned about the cut okay pd dot cut yeah. while there can be a lot of ways to deal with the features okay, the most common one is either split these ranges into two separate columns and replace them with some measures like the mean of that range. So you can use the pd.cut in order to cut the values into some particular ranges, or yeah, you can have like um, more function. Okay? In this features, uh, we will try to create a dummy data frame. This has just one feature, it's, it's range specify using the pandas data frame function. Then you will split the column with the delimiter into two columns, which is start and end. And you use the split and lambda function. Okay, so yeah, you, you can use like this one. Uh, first, I would like to have the dummy age. Okay, and let's say I have this data frame. <clears throat> this is the range of the age 0 under 20 20 under 40 40 under 60 and 60 under 80 and i would like to create a new column so the first column is start and the other column is end okay and for every of this column okay i would like to make a zip okay? so, so zip you know that in the zip we can combine okay but in this case, uh, I want to map this one according to the edge. So I want to like split. Okay. So here uh, I will use all the data. So the star is the pointer. So it's the concept of pointer in the C. And uh, we are making from the dummy TF edge from the column edge. And we are going to map how to map this one. So we map it by using a function x and the mapping is based on the splitting function with the dash. So it means if we want to split, splitting criteria is the dash. So this will be the start and this will be the end. Okay. And then split this one and this will be the start and this will be the end okay. and so on. And yeah, we can get the value like this one. So the start and end, yeah, start is 20, 0 and end is 20. And start is 20 and the end is 40 and so on. Okay. We can have this one from this data and we split with string. So we will learn about string. And uh, to replace the range with its mean, you can write split mean function, which basically take one range at a time, split it, and calculate the mean, and repeat it. So you already know how we can use the apply method. 
Okay, so when we do the aggregation, we can use this way. So for example, uh, we can have this one. Let's say, yeah, I just want to have the range and it's the easy way to calculate the mean. I'm using the two values. So if it is in between zero until 20, then the mean is just zero plus 20 divided by two. Okay. Now you can see I have this data frame and then I have the function split mean. Okay. So the split list is the splitting from the string. And I would like to use the dash as the splitting parameter or the splitting delimiter. And then the mean, what is the mean? The mean will be, I would like to use the split list zero. So split list zero means from this one. Okay. And split list one, it is also from this one. Because I have the delimiter this one, then this will be the index zero, okay? And this will be the index one. The same with this one, this will be split it into two. So the first will be the index zero and the other will be index one. So for the split this index zero, I would like to make it as a float plus the split list index one, I also make it as a float and then divide it by two. Then yeah, we will return the mean value. So when we have this one, uh, we want to do the, uh, we want to create a new column, it's mean. And this it's mean means I want to create a new column based on the column age, okay? based on the column age. And then I want to apply, you know, apply. Uh, we have the lambda function that we can use to aggregate or we can do something with the function. And the function is based on the lambda. We want to use the split mean and the split mean is this one. Okay. So by using this feature, so uh, we can make this is the categorical, okay. So this is the categorical and we have the range of edges and we want to calculate the mean and we get this result. 10 is the result of zero plus 20 divided by two. 30 is 20 plus 40 divided by two. 50 is 40 plus 60 divided by two and so on, okay. So in summary, yeah, you already learned uh, all those uh, techniques. We learn about how to replace the values and we learn how to encode the labels. We also learn the one hot encoding scheme and <clears throat> we learn the binary encoding. And the last one, we learn about the miscellaneous features. Okay. So uh, we are going to go to the next section, which is about uh, strings.